Hello there. Another quick video on Blender and spline drawing inside the viewport. Um, this is just a quick comparison. Uh, being a long-standing 3ds Max user, um, it's a little bit frustrating over in in Blender. It can get you there in eventually, but it's rather clunky. So, as I understand it, unless I've got this completely wrong, um, when you do a spline line. It can either be one of two things. It's well, one of three things, actually. You know what? Let's have a look. Um, you has you have to choose a type of splines you want to create: nerves, bezier, bezier, or poly. Poly means straight lines, basically. Um, you can't mix them within one spline line. You have to choose the whole spline shape. Is that? And then to get your shape, you then massage it to to make it work. So. My sort of problem is if you want lots of straight edges but then want some chamfers and some corners, it's just a little bit annoying in a way. Because then if you want a corner of a curve, then everything has to be a bezier has to be a well the whole thing's a bezier curve. So you've got all these bezier handles that you really don't care about, but you've got them anyway, and it's a bit annoying. Whereas over in the Studio Max, what I've just done, I've created a similar shape and this is all just straight lines at the moment, but if I want to change this thing here and say, actually, you know what, I want that to be a curve, I can just curve it and we, we're done. Or if I want this to be a, uh, I want to bevel that edge, I can just, or chamfer that edge, I can just chamfer it like that. So, yeah, you know, I can change this, um, right hand click, he says. There we go. I can change this to being a bezier or bezier corner. So I can make it a bezier corner. And now I get my handles. He says, trying to grab one. Would happen if you used the WK would really help. Uh, and grab that. So I can do. So so now I'm in like Blender Land, really. I'm in this sort of thing. And if you want to go and do something straight, you then you've got to do this, and then you've got to sort of do that. So this is the sort of way of working in Blender would everything would be a Bezier handle. Oh, I don't know if that's a good idea. So if I just convert all these to Bezier, what happens with that? Da, 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 boom. So that's what this is what Blender does basically. Blender's gone and done this, hasn't it? So this is my Bezier handles. But you know, Max is basically a lot easier and simpler to play with. You know, if I want to just round these four corners off, I don't need to Go here and go here and create two new points and then delete this point and then massage this into a corner. We just say all of these want to be exactly the same. So I'm just going to go fillet them and just does that basically. Uh, he says, wondering why that's gone weird. Oh, that's because that one hasn't been changed. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's just change all those to corners. Right, now do that. There we go. More useful isn't it yeah so I could do really cool things like you know what if I would change all of these and that and this and that and that change all those back to being corners right and now I can just go and dial in a little fillet around all of these guys like so and same with these they can be corners because they sort of are already Bloop. and then we can just do a little fillet on those as well yeah, so for making sort of uh, make a color a bit better. If you're making type of objects that are like CAD like, then this is really quite quite cool and really easy to do. Whereas over in a free app, our non rental app, this is doable. It would just take a long time to do it. I'll be here for like twenty minutes building that. <laughs> and to be hard, to be honest, I was really helped to have a template to go and do it because doing it all by hand and getting the same curves on each one is just going to be hard work, isn't it? So yeah, so Blender's pretty cool. It's just not very good at curves. Um, well, that's how I see it at the minute. If, if I've got it completely wrong, please chime in. Um, you know, do a comment saying you're an idiot. You need to do this, and preferably if there's a video. Show me a video. Right, um, on that note, my tea's gone cold, so I need to get a new one. Right, see you in a bit. Bye.